Hello, kings, queens, nerds, and geeks. Powdered Milk here, and welcome back to Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. Now, guys, I think where we left off is that we actually got laid. Guys, we actually got laid with the creepy, dark applier looking guy. And, and we also uh, met a new guy, which was the teacher, who happened to be, uh, what was his name? Fuck, I forgot his name. We're just gonna call him Profe- We're gonna call him the Nutty Professor. We're gonna call him the Nutty Professor. Hold on. And, uh, let's see, we also met his old high school for his old college buddy. We have met the neighbor with the creepy kids. We have the fat guy. And who else have we met? I believe so far on the screen, we still haven't met this long-haired white guy. Oh, wait, we also met the guy who owns the coffee shop. And somebody else. I don't remember who. But we're going to try to find out who. This next guy is, because now we're going to the mall with uh, Amanda, or or Panda. We're going to call her Panda. Uh, we're, so we got to yeah, try to load. I, I saved twice, just to be sure. Try to exercise regularly. Nothing can beat re reading in print. No shit. <laughs> Dream. You're never too busy or important to kind of others. Treat people better than they treat you. You're never too early to invest in a personal IRA. It's okay to cry when you're being when you're feeling sad. Pay your bills early. The only acceptable time and place to decaf coffee is, in, is is never in the trash. The first, the worst, second, the best, and the third is one with the hairiest chest. Okay. And there it goes, the not responding part portion of the game. It always happens every time. But wait. Just gotta wait. Bear with me! Hello. Hello, hurry up! Ah. Is it loading? Grow your own vegetable. Okay, we arrive at the mall, an indoor shopping center with a couple of different floors. It's kind of dead, but it doesn't stop the mall security guard from yelling at the group for a uh, loitering for loitering teens. Let's eat some disgusting something disgusting for dinner. Hell yeah! All right. <laughs> Language, Missy. Heck. Yeah? Better. Wait, she said hell? We approach the food court and evaluate our options. The greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns, just looks at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. What are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar? Bread dipped in bread with cheese on it? Or do you just want to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? I like how negative it is towards fast food. I love fast food! I extend my ha hand to her. Would you do me the honors of sharing some nachos? She takes my hand with a grin. I would make me the happiest, che uh, cheesiest girl alive. In order, we order a giant pile of chips, unnatural orange cheese from the very enthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. We take a seat in a at a rickety table and dig in. These are bad. Like, these are very bad. But they're also strangely delicious. We have to eat through the pain. We enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together until oh, they were all out of nachos. So, something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? Uh, which meme? All memes. Amanda sighs deeply and places her hand in her hands. Dad, it's complicated. See, memes are an inside joke shared by a bunch of people that are less funny than more more people to do it. So the problem is that that the only time a meme gets to you, Dad, all us youth have already done the joke to death. And have the worst than that eh, is the movies and TVs and video games will try to jump in and on a meme train. And just based on how long it takes for them to make them, a meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just date it. So it just dates it that it isn't funny. Oh. Shit, what up? Ugh. Dad, please. Ah. Anyway, changing the subject. Now, guys, I define memes as something else, and I define it as something that is repeated and made up. That That's basically what a meme is, is something that's repeated and made up. <clears throat> if you watch Doctor Who, they explain the actual word meme, by definition, it means something made up. So, anyway, changing the subject. Where, where to now? I want to go to the goth store. What? You know, 
that one that's all black and tries to establish itself as an anti-establishment despise the fact that an exact representation of an establishment? I don't know what story you're talking about. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault, an, an assault on what people fr fought so hard against in the punk and hardcore moments of the 70s and 80s. Dude, you gotta be more specific. The one that threw... The one I threw up in that one time. Oh, that one. What? So we're basically in a Spencer's? Has anybody ever been to a Spencer's where they have the dildos in the back of the area? <laughs> Seriously, basically it is an adult version of Hot Topic. Uh, okay. Amanda runs into the store and is tailing behind... Uh, with me tailing behind her, she makes me be in line for the back. Right. There it is, you can still see the outline, kinda. Is it... I'm so... proud? <laughs> Speech. Amanda. Speech, 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 speech. Alright, I'll do it if you stop chanting. And Amanda immediately stops. I, ch I clear my throat. Thank you for all joining me here today to accommodate the historical moment when forever shapes history. One day, much like today, uh, five year years ago, uh, my ver very own Amanda and Milk had to too much blue raspberry slushy. <laughs> had too much blue raspberry slushy and uh, outside the mall. After begging her father to take her, her, her to dead goth and beyond, but by rainbow suspenders, she's proceeded to throw all up all of the display of my chemical romance merchandise. <laughs> her loving father then ha had to pay for and said merchandise, which is way a that day reminds me along of our possessions. Thank you. Amanda has moved. She began and clapping, slow at first, and faster and more vigorously, several other patrons turn their heads. And one of them starts clapping, but I bow my head. Hey, chain wallets. While Amanda bruises herself going to the band t-shirts, I try to find something that interests myself. Not much much for a dad to look at and Ed Goth and beyond. <clears throat> Pursue the band t-shirts, check the clearance for hot deals. Look for ironic mugs. I suddenly stricken by the establishing fear that the only one, number one to add then, why are there so many mugs here that say that? This one time I thought I was the only one. I'm not the number one. There would be place the global dad ranking charts. I ha have to work to do. <laughs> Look, this is very important to me. I overhear a shifted argument over the cashier. An older gentleman is carrying a gar rented show owing the uh, showing it to the board looking at the cashier with pink hair. Okay. This is the guy we were talking about. This guy looks vampiric. This guy looks like a l really long-haired e Edward Cullen. Like the fusion of young Jacob Black and Edward Cullen. Just right there. Okay, I can see that. Don't don't know what to tell you, dude. I just don't work here. Listen, when I bought this online, the website said it, this blouse was a Victorian in spot, Victorian inspired. How when I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dresses. Do you want a coupon? You can give you a coupon. If, will you leave if I give you a coupon? Is there a manager present? People have to know what, I, what they're buying. I am the manager. I see. Well, I would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your suspenders will receive a strongly worded letter by t post. However, dude, whatever, dude, the man whirls around and storms out, his literal coattails tra tra trailing behind him. I can't tell if they're Victorian-inspired or Edwardian in nature. And where it trots to me with the t-shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Hey, Dadtron 5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy, thanks. At least there's only one on this time. Amanda plops the shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. Yeah. I love your hair. Oh. The cashier sit as nothing but rings Amanda up, already aiding hatred. I hand her a 20. So what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls his eyes and her hard. I'm worried she pulls something. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with a Victorian fashion, whatever. He, She had Amanda... Ugh, she hands Amanda her bag, and to clear the conversation is over. We'll make her, our way out the store and head home to get it some rest. Victorian styling, huh? I have no idea what the fuck that is. 
A man and I sit in the couch trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh, cool! Long haul! Par oh, I Paranormal ice cream ghost trucks is on. Your favorite, right? <laughs> oh, hell yes. Have to make it all the Canadian over the Canadian tundra before the ice cream melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. Wait, what? <laughs> also, the trucks are haunted. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Colin and Flint at Dogbone, the, the twin brother or er, truck driving the ghost hunt duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh no, the ghost <laughs> and got control of the truck. I can't steer on one of them. Damn ice roads. <laughs> Flint! Oh my god, let me use the e EVP meter and try to communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're out about to die! Uh, almost got it. Listen carefully. It sounds like it's saying you're going to die. Mm -hmm. That's because we're about to die, you... This is art. The episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go to start arguments on the internet. I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Colin and Flint. Dogbone and after the... <laughs> destroyed this ice cream road accident. Onward to crawl onto the bed and get new night's sleep. I have no idea what the fuck just happened. Does anybody can explain this to me? I spent here 12 minutes reading, like, gossip and TV shows for a minute here. Okay? Because it makes absolutely no sense. Okay, we've so far found a lot of people to communicate with. We've only had sex with one guy. So, and yes, guys, I'm not sugarcoating it. You know, I'm not going to say make YouTube videos. I'm just going to say they're fucked. That's what they did. That's basically what they did. This is a gay dating simulator. End of story. Between dads. And obviously this Victorian guy, I would like to see his daughter. What's his daughter like? Is she a princess? Ironically. Or uh, the Victorian. Oh god, this guy is so goth. Like, mm, I just realized I'm fiddling with a with a beer can and with a beer bottle top. I just realized that. I'm fiddling with a beer bottle cap. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Z Z Morning, sleepyhead. Five more minutes. You have never let me have five more minutes, so get up. Fine. We have cereal for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda is such a better at interpreting the, the tiny manuals. We may were able to put a few shelves on the desk. On one desk. And I was pretty sure it was supposed to be the book case. So, you excited for the cookout today? Excited to beef up my grill skills. Yeah! I, I actually, guys, I, now that I own a house, I kind of want a grill. <laughs> That's the one thing I lack right now is a grill. Yet again, I lack a lot of things like furniture. Like a couch. Right now, my current couch is my mattress, which I d is also my desk. Which is box is my desk right now. So, <laughs> um, if there's food, I'm excited. Which actually is more my thing, to be honest. I'm like, eh, which is even more like me, but... Let's beef up my grill skills! I'll see if there's learning opportunity. I can snake up some hot grill tips. I think that I'm not considering it a success. Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? I'll probably end up standing uncomfortably in the corner in a plate of food and hopefully nobody talks to me. Why is this actually accurate to me? Like, guys, uh, my company sometimes does, like, uh, company gatherings, which causes all of us to have to be together. And I really do not like them. I hate being around them. For example, they sometimes take us to the bowling alley, which I just hang out there and eat pizza, eat the free pizza. So, Dad, your beautiful, your beautiful work in progress will get you a butterfly to emerge from that cocoon. A social butterfly. Well, we better start getting ready. I definitely don't want you to be late. What? No. Well, we have to be fashionable late. Who shows up the cookout on time? Uh, me? You know what? We're going early, just because you said that. I need. I head out the door and Amanda really follows and walks around the street for Joseph's house. We'll, so we'll store out the edgy plates and I'm s I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a grill. I guess we're not early as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and smell of hot dogs through the air. Small children run through the sprinkler and adults chat in the small clusters. I set our veggie plate down at the table next to our two other veggie plates. Uh, two other veggie plates, huh? Hey, there's Joseph. I wave over to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. Welcome! 
Look at his hands. He's like, mm. 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 It's like, it's like he's trying to show off his muscles, I guess. Um, welcome. I'm so glad you two are here. I'm just gonna give him that voice because I can. And you brought veggies. Let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come over here. This is Chris, my eldest. Hi. No, hi. That's, this is Christian and Christy, they're twins. Hi. They stare creepily and say nothing. Then, and of course, there's my youngest, Trish. Wait, where's, where's Trish? Maybe Mary put him in the crib. Oh no. Oh no, it's the woman from the bar the other night. What is she doing here? Oh, how could I forget my lovely wife? Oh my god! Joseph pecks at her, her cheek and she smiles. Why? No! Why? Ah! This girl hit on me and I turned her down. This is gonna be fucking awkward as shit. And I'm flirting with her husband. What the fuck? Uh, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Trish in the bed? I have to look for him. What? You'll have to... Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. Mary, this is our new neighbor, Powdered, and his daughter, Amanda. I shake your hand, but I I have a glass of wine that I, di I need to tend to. I love her. Nice to uh, meet you, Mary. For the first time. Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. Mary's! Oh god, this is awkward. I wonder if Joseph knows. I wonder if Mary knows that Joseph knows, and I wonder if Joseph knows that Mary knows that what I know. It makes all the, my energy not to run away from this, from this barbecue and start fresh in the new city. Ha ha ha, my wife has a wonderful sense of humor, but please, you two enjoy a barbecue. All the guys are already excited to meet you. Guys, plenty of guys. I made it I'm all around the time for food to spread out around the table, and I pick some uh, deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small pla uh, paper plate and immediately begins to putting it in the baked goods. Uh, I don't want to ha have, to have to make friends. Come on, Dad, who are you going to party with when I go off to school? But I don't want to have to do pa uh, pla as in trees. <laughs> Dad. Uh, they're going to talk to talk about weather. Ugh. Why is it accurate? So, so, like, it fits me so well. Like, I'm never, I ha I'm not commit, like, you know what? Here's a fact, guys. When I first got my house, you know what the first thing they asked me? So, when's the housewarming party? I'm like, uh, <laughs> never. Go, do it. Make a friend. But how could I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. That This plate of cookie is my new dad. Bye. Amanda shoves me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I took around the party and surprised to see the other fa familiar faces. Isn't this bar barista? It's the barista from the coffee shop. Coffee spoon. What the fuck? Oh, dang, Robert's here. Oh, God! Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? Isn't that the guy from the... Oh, my God, they're all here! And this guy! That guy! I got people cool the sock. This can't be right. I better investigate. Um, how about we talk to somebody we haven't really talked to? Damien and Joseph, uh, Matt, Hugo, and Craig, Robert, and Brian. We're gonna go to Damien. I spot Joseph chatting with the other dead goth beyond grill. Uh, curious, you can t walk through. Ooh, ooh, and you had the house painted black. Where do you even start? My house says warmer. Stays warmer in the winter. It provides an acoustic contrast in the rest of the neighborhoods, and it completely <laughs> eats the crimson interior perfectly. It's definitely an, an interesting choice. How delightful! Thank you. I'm very proud of, of my opponent. Powder. I'm just having a conversation with Damien here, and his uh, in case of design decisions. Damien regards me up down with a warm but cynical eye. How do you do? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. I think I saw you at Dead and Gotham Beyond the other day. Damien's face turns bright red. Yeah, I just apologize for my behavior that day. You see, I take Gotham lifestyle very seriously, and I caught out in a ruse by such an accreditation of Dead Gotham Beyond was profoundly frustrating indeed. Now, guys, ah! 
I've noticed a pattern here in every dating simulator I've ever played, and they always have a goth, a douche, um, uh, some um, quirky, uh, outgoing character. They have some kind of geek, which is apparently me. Um, let's see, there's, of course, the smart ones. Uh, let's see, there's also the, um, the anti-social ones, such as Robert, the guy we boned, anyway. And I hope uh, you know that while my anger may have been justified, it was such a way of a gentleman to act. It's... Okay, man. Don't tell me about your... Now, t do tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? Yes, my daughter and I just moved the other day, and she is one... Uh, and I took the dead goth and beyond. Very good taste on her part. Does her... Uh, partake in goth lifestyles? I think for a second, and look over to Amanda, who's hanging with some other older... Or a kid in the neighborhood. Oh, hey, Amanda, would you consider yourself goth? Amanda yells back. I wouldn't necessarily try and fall under one of the specific label, but I guess I had had a choice to describe myself with three hipsters and the normie. <laughs> Bats are cool, though. Ah, pity. Are you enjoying the party so far? I'm guessing he's going to be hard to... I'm guessing he's going to be one of the ones that are hard to mess with. Remember the mega bitch from uh, Honey Pop? Oh, what was her name? Amanda, I think, ironically? Or was it Rosalina? I don't remember. Um, definitely thanks so much for putting this on. It's nice to be in a cool de sac. I, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, cool de sac. Cool de sac. What does that mean? I gotta look that up. Where is everyone so friendly and welcoming? Amanda walks up with the conversation. I also like the lost boys a lot. Alright, a really good movie. Does that count as gone? That was... That is the, my, uh, my dear. That it, it would, my dear. Ah, can't English. That it would, my dear. I don't believe you've ever had the pleasure of meeting Damien Bl Ed March at your service. Damien finishes the sentence with a flourish and bow and produces a single rose to Amanda. Amanda blushes and receives a gesture for, with a courtesy. My, do you know how to treat a lady? Hello, Amanda. Uh, seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph's twins appear, but they're speaking in unison. WHY ARE THEY SPEAKING IN UNISON?! IT'S MORE CREEPY! Uh, hey, hey! Hey, hey! Won't you come play with us? Uh... Come play with us forever. OH MY GOD! Guys, I know with the creepy twins schnick. We've talked about this. Christian and Gr Isti slowly back away. Where do you think they go got that from? Mary pops into the conversation, wine at hand. Ugh, I don't know. Mary takes a long sip of wine. I think I might have to ipped over the Veggie Tales VCR with The Shining. Who knows? She takes over uh, a sip of her wine. Where's Trish? Wasn't he with you? You had him for a moment. He's probably. Uh, stuffing dirt in his mouth. He'll be all right. Toddlers are pretty resistant. I'm really hating this bitch. I, I'm gonna say it. This woman is a bad mother and a bitch. Ah, I hate this. Mary, I'm not even gonna go on what, why this ticks me off more than anything. I'm not even gonna go on to that. If you've seen my draw my life, you might know why. Anyway, uh, Mary tips her glass to me. Ain't my first time to the rodeo. Uh, it's my four. I have squeezed four. I have squeezed four little sweetheart. Would you mind doing me a favor and please find Chris? That would be great. I'm sure he's fine. Mary. Okay, jeez. Mary finishes her wine off and wanders off. What a bitch. Dad, can we go home? Oh my God, that little dick. Hey, Lucian. It's that dick. I remember that kid. That guy gave me a bunch of shit earlier. Ah, uh, Lucy, I've introduced you to Powder yet. Hey, that punk from Amanda's school. I remember you. Whatever. Huh. That's no way a young man to speak to his el elders. Be polite. Lucy and Bowles. Whatever. Or, whatever, sir. <laughs> Lucy and Bowles again. Mr. Christian, may I ha have a veggie burger, sir? <laughs> Coming right up. So he's a vegetarian. You know, of course he'd be a vegetarian god. How stereotypical. Yep. Oh. Make the two veggie, make that two veggie burgers. Did you know that some people in the Victorian area were vegetarians? They described the carnivorous type people as blood leapers. 
And you look like a fucking vampire, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dad. Dad, that's really interesting, Damien. Joseph turns to the grill and just hints the ta uh, tattoo peach from underneath his sleeve. I can't believe I didn't notice it before, but it looks like the bottom of an anchor. What, the tattoo? Wait. Wait, what tattoo? Yep, that wasn't my youth pa pastor, you Always, I wasn't always a youth pastor, you know. That is so cool. Want to see mine? What? What? Lucian pulls back a rubber bracelet and reveals a lip-sided 666 in black ink. Hey, buddy, give me a stick and poke tattoos last week. I think I, it's still healing up pretty good. Lucian! Well, I'll talk about this later. It's pretty cool, but the what's the significance of the tattoo? I don't know. I just thought it would look sick. Well, in my opinion, is the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful, careful. <sighs> okay, my, uh, I gotta reread this. Well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful, though, the number carries weight. Man, Joseph is cool, or, yeah, cool young pastor than I thought. I just figured that youth pastors popped out the womb with a Bible. I wonder what he did before he was teaching. Hmm. I want to talk... To Matt, Hugo, and Craig. Oh. These guys are a bunch. Like, these guys are like... What should I describe these people? Um... If you think about it, they're kind of a transition of unison to the next. Like, if you think about it, Craig turns into the guy next to him, and he turns into the guy next to him. Kind of a, in an annual reverse, if you think about it. They're all... Matt, Hugo seem to be enrolling in an intense discussion. Craig... Looks so on slight, smiling politely, I walked over to say hello. Well, I don't think it's fair to try to compare two art movements like that. Periods in art only exist because of the unique byproduct of a social and political climate of time and place. And try to so take something like, say, a the Rocco period and compare it to the postmodern. Blah, 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 blah. I can't read this. Matt and Hugo seem to be busy talking like they don't notice me. Craig leans in. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. Uh, Craig. I turn my attention to Craig, and it seems a little more attention into the existence. Hi. How's resistance training and going with the other day? Mm. Oh, little River here is a great cheerleader, aren't you? Tiny. Little, little, tiny bro. <laughs> Craig grabs River's arm and waves them around. <laughs> you can do it, Dad. I'm so proud of you. I'm so all right for pooping on you. <laughs> oh my god, what am I reading? She must have been a handful at that age. Yep, they always are. But it, but it's so worth it. Craig grabs River's arm again and waves them around. Also, I'm sorry for throwing up on you, Dad. How are you settling in? Uh, almost done. It's still a, a few odds and ends to take care of, but before I really call myself settled, but I think I can upgrade a situation to, li to livable. We did livable throughout the entire college. Yeah. But my goal was for Amanda to live in a sort of life that wouldn't involve eating spoonfuls of ranch dressing and pallets of ch cleanser between different types of pizza. She still does, though. <laughs> hey, she takes after her dad. Powdered, how are you liking the neighborhood? It's pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly. Seems like my daughter is fitting in just fine. Matt points across the yard, yard to where Amanda, Daisy, and the other young girl are playing. They're still sitting across legged and picking weeds and weaving them from the flower crowds. They're pretty adorable and the girls don't recognize the jogs over to us. Why are all these people in the same area? I want to know. What is it, sweetheart? It's the flower crown. It's a flower crown. I thought he would look cute in it. Well, it's the only one I t want to find out. Matt takes the flower crown and places it on top of his head. Oh, he's awesome! How do I... Now, am I cool now? The girl stares at him, thinking it over. Hmm, nope. But you're still slightly less uncool that than you were before, but you put it on. Hey, ha, ha. Hey. Ah, can't read. Ha, hey, Powder. This is my daughter. Hello. I'm, uh... Camaristia. I can't pronounce that name. Uh, uh, Matt, Anna comes over with a daisy in the toe, in tow. Dad, look, I'm making friends. Are you, uh, making friends? You better be making friends. <laughs> I like how the daughter demands me to be social. Amanda, you are, sorry, Panda, 
You are my boss in this situation, trying to make me be sociable. Just imagine, guys. Don't you remember that one scene in the manga where, um, what was it? In uh, Attack on Titan for, where, um, Levi was like, someone told Levi to be sociable, and he's like, what? <laughs> Sorry. Well, actually, Amanda, you remember the uncool barista that was in the coffee shop? The cool barista that was in the coffee shop? And the old call, and my old college friend, and, uh, your teacher. What? Oh, Mr. Vega? I didn't realize you, you, we were neighbors. Ah. Yep. You still gonna get that overdue term paper? Ah. Uh, great seeing you. Man, his finger guns her out of the conversation like a champ. He's learned that finger gun moves from me. I'm very proud. Oh. She, pr she definitely a charmer. Speaking of which, wh uh, where did my son go? Wait, what? Hugo looks at the part, and he, fi I, he finally stopped him because his eyes go wide. What? Ernest! Ernest Hemingway! Oh my god! He named him Ernest Hemingway? Oh my god! <laughs> hey, are you smoking? Oh. Ernest is holding a lit cigarette. Nope. I see Ernest across the way. He casually takes a long drag with his cigarette and then flicks it into the gutter. Hmm. Unbelievable. Excuse me. Uh, Hugo marches over to the Ernest and turns his attention to Matt and Craig. Kids, right? Man, I do... I do not envy Hugo. The latest barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler on Joseph's pants. Nearly burned down half the yard. And that barbecue we had before that, he actually burned down half the yard. And then it spread onto my lawn and burned down half my yard, too. <sighs> Hugo walks back. Oh my god, that kid actually just looks like he hates life. Eh, I'm gonna call him Cheeto because of his fucking, uh... I'm gonna call him Cheeto because of his, uh, jacket. Uh, Hugo walked at, back over to us, practically dragging Ernest behind him. Hmm. Hey, everybody, so about that, powdered. This is, is my son, Ernest. Hello. Ernest looks away, sulking, his hands shoved deep into his pockets. I swear, this kid would be, get, would get along with Lucian. Ernest looks away, sulking, and his hands shoved deep in his pockets. Uh, Hugo nudges him impatiently. Hey, nice to meet you, Ernest. What grade are you in? Does it matter? Oh. Ernest? Okay, I'm in the 8th grade. God, are you happy now? I'm sure we were just dying to know. Uh, yeah, good for you. Hmm. Can I go now? I'm tired of talking to the old dudes who, who blame my generation for a failing economy. Ouch. Eh. Ernest! Oh yeah, because I'm totally embarrassing you. Er Ernest pulls up earbuds and, and storms off to the stand in the corner. Well, that was... Certainly something. This guy is more antisocial than me, and that says a lot. Okay. Uh, Hugo puts his head in his hands and sighs. I'm so sorry. We're having a really rough time. As much as I want to be cool, Dad, I have to be a authoritarian dad, and he really resents me for it. I mean, think as my dad and teacher. Think as a dad and a teacher. That is the authoritarian as you can get. Honestly, you can be a cool... Any of us cool dads that can be, possibly be a cool dad. But I'm cool as a cucumber. I can't read right now. I can't breathe. Hold on. Ooh. See you right there. You can't say that. My kids think I'm cool. But you... But for how long, Craig? How long do we get to be the cool dads? Uh, I don't know. I think that must be the accept the fact that dads, we become um, the machine. Once we raged against the accept the fact, act ironic wear of socks and sandals, your kids may think you're cool now, but the moment you they hit puberty, you're doomed. Man is 18 and still thinks I'm cool. I yell across the yard to my daughter, Manda, I'm cool, right? Manda just laughs. She keeps laughing. <laughs> see, I see your point. As much as we all want to, oh, and I don't think the important is to be a cool dad, but is to be a good dad. And we all best have friends. I have to be honest, this sentence I agree with. As much as I want it, but I don't think it's important to be a cool dad as much as to be a good dad. I can tell the best friends, and we can be best friends with our kids, just don't work. Ugh. We can't all be best friends with our kids, it just doesn't work. I mean, look at me and Ernest. See right there? That is actually a true statement. My dad actually explained this to me when he was raising me when I was being a dick. And, uh... And I, I feel sorry for being as much of a dick as I was then, 
But it, my dad had a point. He said something similar to this, and I have to agree with it. You know, this is actually making me appreciate my father more. This game is. I'm really appreciating him. It's making me appreciate my dad more than he already is. So I, I, I guess this is kind of a, like a concept that dads have. It's like a, um, I guess it's all true for dads. Because dads always have a common goal. Well, good dads, that is. Oh. Our job as a parent is to make sure our kids turn out okay. Yeah, your job. You're right, but it's nice to ha have it both ways. Hearing these guys talk about it makes me think of my relationship with my Amanda. It's getting along so well that we might come to a time when it won't be like that. Is college when that happens? Ah. Don't let it eat your, your time powdered. Go meet some of the other people around the neighborhood. So, Robert and Brian, these are, guys are complete fucking opposites. Look at this guy, muscular, tan, antisocial as shit. I will be honest, even sexy, because, yeah. <laughs> and there's this guy, who looks like a fat Chuck Norris, a fat extra be long beard Chuck Norris, and extra shit like that. Like, this guy has more hair than me, and that says something. I got a lot of hair. I may not look it, but if you ever met me up close, I have a lot of hair, like chest hair. <laughs> I walk over to Robert and Brian, who are chatting over drinks. I determined not to be weird about what happened that night. I no hope Robert feels the same. Hey, guys. Powder! How the heck are you? Settling the neighborhood all right? Oh, you betcha. The living in Got the living room in order, at least. That's great to hear. I can't even get my fucking office in order! That's great to hear. I'm doing gr Doing some living room work as well. Finally got the got the fifties in there. The fifty in there. The game looks like high. The game looks great in high def. Oh boy. Powder, do you have to meet? Have you met Robert yet? Yes. I believe we've met briefly. Hey. Robert takes a long sip of whiskey. Robert robotically extends his hand to shake it as he stares unblankly into my eyes. Oh God, what does it mean? <laughs> this guy has a thing for me. Oh, Robert has the hots for powdered milk. <laughs> How is it going? It's good. Robert focuses his whiskey he's holding. It takes a long sip. Those eyes are very like, hey, sexy, how's it going? <laughs> oh, God. I was talking to my wife after the previous video, and I was like, is this what it feels like to be a fangirl watching Yowie? I'm like, oh god. I'm slowly turning over to the fangirl side. Why is it my feminine personality precedes me? God, great. Look at my friends becoming friends. Us, dad got, got a st us dads gotta stick together, you know? Us dads. Robert has a kid? Oh, I didn't know you had kids. Robert continues to stare at me. Jesus, don't... Does this guy ever blink? Yep. C cool. What? That's cool. We stand incredibly uncomfortable in silence for several moments until... We gotta get at, at this... Get off this haunted truck. Oh no, the ghost locked the doors. <laughs> Daisy and Amanda runs up and thank God. <laughs> Quick, there is emergency escape button. But trucks don't have emergency escape <laughs> buttons. Uh, uh then... Hit the brake, I guess, so we'll get out of this truck. Uh, the imaginary truck. Anyway, we're so, we're safe from the ghost, and now we're to survive the Arctic Tundra. Daisy, you might have to be, eat me, but prepare, be, are you prepared to do that? I'm prepared to do anything to survive. That's cold-blooded, I like that. Although we're not sure we'll have the materials to rebuild the property, properly cook you. Wait a second, are you guys playing Hall, the Road Paranormal Ghost Truckers? Well, Ice Road Paranormal Ghost Truckers. Yeah. Amanda and I love that show. That's the best. That's the best. Especially the episode where Ollie and hides the f and keys. Flint real Yeah! Friendly breaks the ancient curse and sends the spirit after him. Yeah, but I'm quality really. Why is this like, you know, like, alright, Daisy. And a couple of bugs. There's gonna make a great meal. Lots of protein. You're gonna keep us from starving out, out here in this harsh, icy wasteland. <laughs> But there's a whole table of food right over the... Daisy, it's a game. We're just playing pretend. Is it? It's what kids do. Live a little. I like how anti-social his daughter. Uh, uh, Amanda gives Daisy a handful of gummy worms in the snack table. Just eat, eat them with a mock of disgust. Let's go... Oh, I'm kindling for the fire. Okay. 
Uh, so because we're... Right. Wait, where'd Robert go? Daisy and Amanda run off and a cute couple of kids. I turn my attention back to the conversation. Wait, where did Robert go? I skim the party and finally find him in the corner talking to Mary. Does does he not want to talk? Man, I've never seen him get along with other anyone so quickly. I snap out of Robert and do out of my Robert induced haze. Probably because you had sex that one night. Who was on top? Or did you guys take turns? I, that's what I want to know. <laughs> Why do I ask myself these questions? I guess Amanda just sort of has her way with kids. That's kind of amazing. Daisy doesn't really get along with kids her age. Hmm. That, it's nice that we're not the one up trying to one up me this time. Maybe we can have regular friendship after all. Really? She just kind of keeps herself. Her teachers say she spends most of her recess in the library. That's kind of what I did. Uh, in high school, most of the time before I, uh, me and Aurora hooked up, uh, well, not hooked up, but, uh, got together would be the better word. Hooked up would imply we, well, yeah. But, we got together, before we got together, I always hung out at the library checking for the latest manga or book I wanted to read, and that's all I did every day at the library. And sometimes I would reread some books. I ended up reading the Harry Potter se er, the entire Harry Potter series seven times. And all the Twilight series four times, which I'm ashamed to say. Uh, she just, just keeps to herself. Her teachers say she spends most of the time at the library. I think other kids are intimidating her, or intimidated by her intelligence. There it is. I wonder, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Amanda has, was shy as Daisy's age too. She used to have a habit of crawling under tables and crying every, every time we took her to a restaurant. She bit people too. <laughs> Oh, 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 kids, right? Gotta love them. You're required to by law. Yeah, since they're getting along so well, maybe you should try to put together a little play date for them. Yeah, that would be nice. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Go meet some of the other fellows. Uh, without further ado, let's get some work the magic. Joseph closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and gets to work. With the greatest ease of se that's the patties on the grill. Flourishes and flips the spatula in the air. And easily some of the best grill work I've ever seen. You guys think this is my first time in the front of the grill? He's working faster now. Reverently tossing cheese in the pat at patties. Perfectly grilling onions on, on the side. On the other... On the, on, one after another, the dads take notice of a crowd around Joseph and admire his masterful technique. What? You put... You probably don't know this pattern, but Joseph's known around here as the grillman, known for his grillmanship. He's the ungrill, he's ungrillievable. Dad jokes! I try to get on his level, but I can't catch up. Let us keep studying. Oh my god, he has a rare quality in him. Must us keep talking about this, we can stop appreciating an artist. Even you?! I've never seen him make a mistake. Mm. You too? Oh my god, this is endless dad jokes! Okay, we need to stop. Uh, this is getting too cheesy. <laughs> Please stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All the dads, no matter what time, had those dad jokes. All the children of the party are to boo the glorious display of puns in unison. <laughs> oh my god, food's ready. Please for and the orderly barbecue quay. Amanda groans and grabs the food and hangs uh, and hang out. Enjoy perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Man, this is what so wild how all of those dads live in the same coup de sac. Kind of nice since it feels that like we're a real community here. Today helps uh, helps when you're just single dad trying to raise a kid. Uh, we're happy to have you, man. I think we're gonna. <clears throat> I like this neighborhood a lot. Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all the kids. It's decided to get a babysitting in game. Ah, uh, I'm having trouble like breathing right now. She will uh, really uh, make a killing. Hey, why don't you add us to all the debt, all our dad book, dad book? <laughs> wow, we're actually getting social media in this game. Yeah, just a great social media uh, network, dads, as uh, so we're in touch with each other. We're all we're all on it. If you ever need to reach out to someone, that's the simplest way to do it. Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad. Social media doesn't over, goes over my head sometimes. Don't worry, Pops. I'll help you figure it out. The rest of us in the barbecue go smoothly, and we take stories that we trade stories and drink beer as our kid is in the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between uh, Casimiro and the weird twins. 
Uh, I think they wanted her soul or something. <laughs> Amanda and I walked to our, our place and the sun's- Oh, right, look, I got an achievement! Welcome to the neighborhood! Okay, I guess uh, this is actually the true intro. I guess this game takes a long time. Sets over the neighborhood. Pretty fun party, don't you think? Uh, 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 come on, don't be negative about it! You met your dream guy. <laughs> you met all your dream guys. Dream daddy. Anyway, <laughs> which could have been playing paranormal instructors. I felt like I was at a networking event. I'm gonna be a uh, uh, link to notifications about this. I just know it. You don't think it's nice that people want to connect with you? Not, not what their affection jams up in the inbox, metaphorically speaking. Well, hey, at least you got some other other cool dads. You, you should hit. The, it, Hit them up on dad book. Maybe I will. If I ever figure out how social media works. I have a great feeling about this place. Me too, dad. Exercise regularly. You'll stay healthy. I uh, kind of have to do that. Hannah and I arrive home. There are remnants of veggie plates. Hmm. Seems nobody has really into cauliflower. What's wrong with cauliflower? Cauliflower is delicious. Any big plans this evening? Actually, yeah. I'm going out with some friends. Oh. Is that okay? Of course, just keep me posted all the... And be home before midnight. You got it. And be careful. I will. Make good choices. Uh. Of course. And call all me if you need anything. Dad, you're not going to be do the thing where you're going to so wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No, I never done that, and I never were going to do that. Okay, do you have plans tonight? I, uh... I'm gonna work on some stuff. You know, dad stuff. I'm just gonna relax tonight, have fun, okay? Great, see you later. I watch Amanda drive off in the night, and I really ho hope she has fun. Something tells me I'm gonna catch her doing something illegal. And I just have that feeling. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and down my estrogen. I love to be able to cook it like that, but I think I'll actually good cooking. Her power is evil. I think I'll bake Alaska. Man, giving cat. Can we just skip this part? I lose track of time. My day is several episodes. I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I should send a text. Hey, kiddo, you good? I went into the kitchen and waited to reply. Amanda's almost always in her hand. I reach out of the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich and um, I check with my watch again and my phone. Nothing yet. Hmm. Okay, I seem worried. Do I call her or, or do I call the cops? No, no, it's too soon for that. I'll send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. They worried it. Why do I find that she's going? Is she even with? Why do I know her friends? Don't I know any of her friends? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? Who is Emma P? <laughs> I decided to send her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think this is an awful thing that could happen to her. Oh, thank God it's her. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally, finally she's back home, and I got. I'm glad she's okay. Sup? Sweetie, thank God you're safe. Ugh. Uh, yep. But now I that I know that she's okay, she I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my text? Amanda pulls her phone out of her pocket. Oh, whoops. I guess I didn't see those. She st starts to walk to her room. Amanda, Ann. Whoa, you're putting out that middle name now. Amanda, you, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew. You didn't even respond to any of your texts, and you freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Dad, you're resp- Seriously overreacting. You're gonna be like that when I go off to school, are you? I have a right to be concerned. You're my only daughter. Well, I can't give you a play-by-play -play of everything I do all the time. I'm 18. I shouldn't even be given a curfew at this first place. I sit down on the couch and put my he head in my hands, and I feel tired all of a sudden. You really scared me. Just please don't do that again. All right. I'm gonna go to bed now. Amanda closes the door to her room, and I head to mine. Jeez. Am I failing? Am I, as I'm falling asleep, the one thing she keeps echoing my mind. You're not going to be like this when I go out to school, are you? I definitely don't sleep, sleep well. Oh, oh, I, didn't, ugh, I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brewed some strong coffee to make, make something. Scrambled eggs and mayonnaise. Actually, guys, I'm actually running out of time here. I put off my long ass video. Also, guys. Just remember to catch into my other videos. I'm also doing Earthbound and the Fallout Equestria series. So remember guys to stay tuned in for those. Anyway guys, I'll catch you guys later and stay nerdy my friends. Bye bye!